what will happen now? Mom, just tell me the truth now. Whatever the truth is. Why are you worrying so much? No, no. It's nothing. There is something for sure. Because when I told her, she got really sick and asked me where. You went like two times or maybe more. And I think that when I told her she was really shocked too. Mom, please tell me now that the message that Durdana sent to Amjad was that true? Mom, why are you quiet? At least tell me something so I can be careful next time. Yes, just to get you and Amjad married, I told actually I promise. Finita that I will marry Imran with Golmas, okay? Just don't worry, okay? I will take care of all this, alright? No, mom, no. The moment Amjad gets to know about this, it would not be okay. If you truly want my happiness, then please get brother Imran to marry Golnaz. Otherwise, Amjad will leave me, mom. I am telling you this now. The day he gets to know it, he will leave me then. Are you crazy? It's not that easy to leave. And then how can I make Golnaz my daughter-in-law? By leaving such a good girl and going after Finita's daughter. That is not possible, Betul, not at all. Not at all. If that is not possible, then why did you even get me married to Umjad? Tell me. What was the reason to tell such a big lie? Mom, you still have time. I am telling you. Get brother Imran married to Gulnaz, okay? For my sake, mom. What's wrong with you, Betul? If for your happiness I get ready to do all of this still, Imran would never ever agree to any of this, okay? Don't worry, Betul. I have talked to Sister Hajra, she will take care of Femida. Just don't worry, understand. I will talk to you later, okay? Mom, what is up with you? Since you came back home, you've locked yourself in your room. Okay, if you don't want to talk to us, then it's okay, don't talk. Don't tell us what's wrong. But at least eat something, come on, please. You have not eaten anything since morning. Okay. Set the table. I will come. Okay, I will set the table, just come have something to eat. I am waiting for you. Listen. Did mom open the door? Yes, she is coming. Thank God. I will check who is at the door. Just set the table, okay? Okay. Who is it? You. You are the son of Uncle Ayaz, right? Yes. But how did you recognize me? Actually, I saw a picture of you with Uncle Ayaz. Yes. I am Sarmad Sadiq. The son of Ayaz Sadiq. 
Okay, you tell me. Who are you? Durdana or Golnaz? I am Durdana. Durdana. Come on in, why are you standing outside? Come on in now. Durdana, who is outside? Yes, who are you and who do you want to meet? Oh, he is Aya's uncle's son, Golnaz. Greetings. Greetings. Durdana, sit them down inside. I will call mom. Come on this way, please. Why is not Sister Rukaya picking up? Did she really engage Imran to someone else? Mom. What? Aya's uncle's son is here he is sitting outside. Uncle Aya's son. Yes. He only has one son oh wait is. Is Sarmad here? Yes, maybe he is here I don't know. Why is he here so suddenly? You will meet him then we will get to know. Mom are you feeling okay? Yes, I am fine. Where is he? I sent him to the guest room. Go ahead, I am coming. Mom I seriously don't get it. Mom I don't get why you think that. Why would I leave such a great proposal? And marry Golnaz. When did I tell you to marry Golnaz okay? It seems to me like that. Look mom. Just forget about Aunt Femida and Golnaz. Don't even take their name by mistake okay. If this thing spreads and reaches Maria, then everything will come to an end. You don't have to tell me all of this. I know this very well. Then make Batul understand too. Tell her that she is not helpless or bound or something. If Amjad mistreats her then we are here to deal with him okay. I cursed that time when I told Finita about this on your recommendation oh my. If I knew that she would get this stashed and obsessed, I would never even say that in the first place. Mom if you can't handle Aunt Finita, then leave it to me. I will talk to her myself and then console her myself too. What will you say then? that you don't have to think about. You will get rid of her then. She won't call you ever again. What are you saying? Uncle Ayas passed away what? How did that? Wait when did that happen? It's been more than a month now. But he was doing all right then. A few months ago we were talking on the phone. He was saying he is coming to Pakistan. Then suddenly. He was completely fine. He was not even sick or anything. Just think that his time was over. I still can't believe it honestly. I still feel the same way that. He is around here somewhere and. He will appear in front of me now. You must know that. How much he loved me and that. He moved to Germany just because of me. Otherwise he didn't want to go at all. Even in his own life he didn't sell any of his property in Pakistan. Just because he used to think that. He will come back soon. But alas. He could not do that. I am so sorry that I came unannounced like this and worried you like this. No, no. 
You are not burdening me. This is your own home. Come whenever you want. In fact, I want to live in Pakistan for a while. Dad has a lot of properties here. At first, he used to look after them himself. But now I have to take care of these. And as you know, I can't look after the properties while staying in Germany. That's why I thought. I will sell them now. Other than this house, he also has a few plots and shops and stuff. And to sell all of them, I have to stay here for a while. My childhood memories are stuck to this house. That's why it's my wish that before I sell this house, I spend a few days here. If you don't mind, then I can. No. Why would I mind at all? You can stay as long as you want. I will set the food for you now. No, no. I don't need anything, don't worry. I want to rest for a while. Okay. Come with me, then I will show you your room, okay? Come on. This is Uncle Ayaz's room. We don't use this room but. I come here and clean it on a daily basis. Really? You have taken good care of his room. I can still feel his scent in this room now. If you need anything of any sort, you can ask me without hesitation. Yes. I remember. He used to love his books so much. He always kept them so organized. And you have kept them in the same manner as they used to put them in. Yes. When Uncle Ayaz brought me here in this house. They only suggested one thing. That I take care of his books in a good manner. I tried my best that they never get harmed in any way you know. I was only worried about one thing before coming here. That how will I ask you to leave this house, but I. But I believe that, that you will understand my situation. Actually I need heavy investments for my business plan. Other than selling these properties. I don't have any other way. But you don't have to worry at all. I will do whatever I can do for you trust me I will. You have refused to eat now. I will send in tea for you, okay?
something mom. I am not hungry. You both can eat. Mom you didn't have lunch either at least have something. Okay. I will eat it. Did he tell you something? Why did he come like this so suddenly? He's here for some work. He will stay here for a few days. He will stay here. At our home. This house is theirs. We are just living here. Where will I go with my daughters? I only have this house's support if this doesn't stay. What is this problem which won't end at all? At first the job. Now this house what will I do now? Oh Allah. Please help me Allah. Please help me Allah. Hello. This is Sarmad speaking. Sarmad Sadiq. Sarmad. You. This number is Pakistani when did you come? Man I came yesterday. You didn't tell me that you're coming I would have picked you up. I came safely by myself, but. Now I need your help okay. Okay tell me when you can meet up with me. Tell me where you are I can come to you right now. No man I am not in that much rush. When you are free you can come to me. Okay okay but tell me where you are. I am in my Goldberg house right now. Oh. You mean the house where Femida lives? Yes, yes, they're there. Okay then. I will come in a bit. Okay. I am waiting for you. Mom, where will we go now? Don't worry about that. I will make some arrangements. But how will you do that mom? Now you don't even have a job how will you arrange it now? Why can't you ask them to? Give us some more time. How can I say that? Uncle Ayaz was someone else. This is his son okay. He came here with a set mindset. He won't just change that because of us. Mom I don't understand where will we find a house like this? We can't find a house like this. But we will find some place where we can stay all right now. Besides. We should thank Allah. How many years we have spent in this house. Otherwise do you think we deserved it? What are we supposed to thank for? If we were supposed to get kicked out like this. Then it would have been better that we didn't have it. Even if we had a small hut it would have been ours okay. This is even more hurtful for us mom more hurtful. Asking to empty the house so suddenly like this. What kind of justice is this to us mom tell me come on. We should not talk so negatively like this my child. Who gave us this house to cover our heads. He will make some arrangements for us. And besides. I am here right. Just stay calm okay. Mom I don't know what kind of house. We will get after this one. At least talk to Aunt Rukaya so that we can. Get Gulnaz married before we leave this house you know. What happened? What are you thinking? Nothing. Mom I was thinking that maybe you even talked to Aunt Rukaya. What are you waiting for now mom? Why can't you talk to them and set a date now mom tell me. Okay I will talk to her. But I don't think she will get ready for marriage so quick. First we will have to empty this house then. The marriage will happen too. But mom you wanted to get her married as soon as possible then. Enough. You don't have to say anything in this matter Durdana. 
Didn't I say I will talk to her she will get married. At least let me solve this house matter first. She's been calling me till midnight. That's why I came here now. And the thing that is between us for now it will be known by everyone and sister honestly. I am very scared at the moment. I don't want any problem. Rukaya, whatever problem is supposed to come I say it comes. I don't have a single worry for anyone else. I don't want Umja to act out like he did last time. Oh don't worry about Umja he'll take care of him don't worry. Keep one thing in mind. I should not be punished for you both sins all right. And if you promised her that you will. Marry brother Imran with Golnaz. Now you should complete your promise mom. Why did you give her false hope? And besides didn't brother Imran always. Liked Golnaz from the start. What happened now? Why doesn't he want to marry her? Batol are you crazy or what? You want us to make Golnaz our daughter-in-law now what? You should not thought of that before. Batul. How are you talking to Sister Hadra? We did all of this for the sake of your happiness. Just so you could get married to Umjad. Mom I told you this before too. That is Umjad doesn't want to marry me. Then don't force him to okay. But you didn't listen to me at all. Why did you do all of this? Batul. Go to your room now. Go from here. Sister, please don't mind what she said. She was being emotional. is calling. Femina. Pick it up now. No sister I can't bring myself to talk to her. Hello. Who is it? This is me Hadra talking tell me why are you calling so much. Greetings sister Hara. I need to talk to sister Rukaya now. What is it you want to say just say it to me okay. Sister do you remember. That sister Rukaya said that if I say no to Amjad's proposal then. She will marry Imran with Golnaz you remember. I heard that she fixed Imran up with someone else so. Please talk to them now. She can't do this to me please she can't. Oh Famida you are so innocent please. How could you even think? She will marry her son to your daughter. We don't even want your shadow near our houses. Proposals is unimaginable. What are you saying? You both talk to me about the proposal. Yes yes Famida, I remember we did that. But that was just a game we played with you. You kept playing games with us your entire life. We thought we could play some games with you too. You can't do this to me please for God's sake you can't do this. Now my daughter is also hoping for it. She will die please don't do this to me. Oh leave it Famida, why will they die now? And even if they die then whatever I couldn't care less and. One more thing this is impossible you hear me okay. You understand. Sister no please. You can't do this to me please for God's sake you can't do this. Please I am begging you can't do this to me please don't. My daughters please don't do this. Please have some mercy you can't do this to me please don't. I will make you beg Femida but. I still won't marry them. Look listen to me if you can't find good proposals for. Your daughters then set them up you'll get good money. Or sell them I don't care about your daughters okay. You are taking advantage of me now. Fine I can't do anything but Allah is watching right so please. You won't be able to live a good life if you hurt me or hurt. My daughters in this manner okay. You hear me Allah gives justice to everyone okay. Okay Femida whatever I am not scared of you at all alright. 
and don't even try to call here ever again understood. Why am I a mother? You should not have talked like this in front of Sister Hadra. You know it very well that she doesn't even tolerate hearing her name, and you were suggesting Imran and Golnas to get married. My child Betul, whatever we did was just for the sake of your happiness and that you will have a good life. You are lying to me mom. You didn't do anything for me okay. You just did this because you were scared that Amjad might get married to Durdana. You just used me to make them look smaller and embarrass them. Keep your voice down Betul. If sister Hadra listens it won't be good. Mom why don't you understand? Whatever you both have done. It will cost you a lot okay a lot. You will have to, and me too, why? What happened? Did Amjad say something to you? No mom. Amjad didn't say anything to me, but I know that. The moment he gets to know this, he will not listen to anyone. Mom please talk to brother. That he married Gonaz please. Why don't you understand this? If brother Imran marries Golnaz then, then me and Amjad will get closer okay? Mom this is the only way now. To protect me and Amjad okay? And Durdana won't be able to come between us. This cannot happen now my child. Even if get ready to do this for the sake of your happiness, even then Imran will never agree to this. He will never agree to this battle. You trust people so easily, mom. What do you think they came here to set my marriage no? She came here to protect her daughter's wedding. And they just did it to make you happy. I will make you beg Femida, but I still won't marry them. Look listen to me, if you can't find good proposals for your daughters then set them up you will get good money. Or sell them I don't care about your daughters okay. Golnaz, did you feel that? How angry mom got when I mentioned your wedding. But she always talks about your marriage. So happily and stuff you know. But I don't know what happened. When she came back home she locked herself in her room and didn't talk to anyone didn't even tell what happened or anything. and didn't even eat anything all day. I think that she went to Aunt Rukaya's place. And something happened there. If that was the case then mom would have told us. Are you crazy now? How would she tell us? Mom was so happy that Aunt Rukaya will fulfill her promise. If for instance Aunt Rukaya backs off from what she said, then how would mom be feeling right now? She would be crying at the fact that how would she face us now you know like. Golnaz listen to me. Call brother Imran right now. If there is anything then you'll know about it by talking to him. No I know I can't I won't call him at all no Durdana. Why are not you calling him man at least listen to me sometimes. What do you want? Whatever mom heard I hear it too. I only want to know the truth okay that is all I want to know. So at least the depression mom is in I can. Get her out of it somehow okay. Think about it once Gulnaz please. If our thought is correct then imagine what mom is going through. She can't even tell us anything okay. How worried would she be? No Durdana. 
I don't have enough strength to take this sorrow. I will see whatever happens. If you care about your own sorrow more than mom's worry, then whatever you want to do okay go ahead. Dana. Can I get a cup of tea? Oh, why tea? Ask for food, man. Ask for food. Femida makes good food. Yes. I was waiting for you. How are you, man? I am sorry, man. It took me so long to come here. I was busy. You would have to take leaves from the showroom. Till my work isn't done, I won't let you go. You understand me? Don't worry at all. Now I am with you. Dana, make a cup of tea. Oh, and wait for. Keep this money and ask Femida to make something delicious. You will get good food, but I will not take money. Don't you worry, okay? You're being shy, as if this is the first time I am giving money. I mean, oh, just keep this. Go ahead. Come on, Sarmad. Let's go talk inside now. No, Durdana. I don't have enough strength to take this sorrow. I will see whatever happens. If you care about your own sorrow more than mom's worry, then whatever you want to do, okay, go ahead. Hello. I was about to call you just yet it's good you called me now. How are you tell me? I am good yes I am doing fine. Really? You are fine. It's amazing. I thought you'd know everything till now and when you would call me you will scream at me then you know. I don't understand what you are trying to say. Didn't Aunt Femida tell you? Do you really not know or do you want to hear it from me now? I don't understand anything Imran what are you trying to say? Okay okay fine. I will tell you. I will tell you everything. Actually Golnaz the thing is. That my relationship is set with my boss's daughter. They are very well known. Very rich. I was agreed on marrying you and was looking forward to it. But then my boss insisted so much I can't even explain. I could not say no then. I told you Golnaz I have more than enough girls. I can get the best girl for me too okay. But you didn't understand what I said to you right? I don't know what mince understanding you were in. What kind of joke is this tell me? Just two days ago you can say that you will. Yes I know I said it. I said it. Honestly I tried to do that too. That I change my mind to marry you. But what can I do? My heart was not convinced. So for that I am sorry. You are free from my side. Go marry whoever you want to and I will send my marriage card. Please attend I insist okay. How could you do this to me Imran? How could you do this to me Imran how could you? Mom won't be able to handle any of this please. She has full belief in you that you will fulfill this deal. Please she will die she won't be able to take it. Look if you are mad at me then okay I am sorry I apologize okay. Please don't do this to me. For God's sake don't do this to me please don't. No use. Golnaz this crying and all this begging and stuff. Will do nothing okay. 
My proposal is set now. In a few days the date of marriage will be set too. And besides, you are also done with BA. You will get a good proposal don't worry. You and I are not compatible. But you were in love with me right Imran? Oh that was all childhood play. I was very immature back then. Whoever comes first, you fall in love with them. But Golnaz, we should make our childhood mistakes better now. Should not stick to them. I just wanted to tell you that talk to Aunt Femida. Tell her not to call my mom and worry her anymore all right. Look Golnaz, I am not the world's last man. There are many more. You will find someone else. Okay. Have fun. Bye. Listen. Greetings everyone. This is Minal Khan. If you liked this episode, remember to like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Thank you.